Welcome to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi, joined by John Parker Wilson, our Alabama football analyst here at AL.com. Each week on this uh, segment, we're going to be taking you through an important play uh, and breaking it down for you, kind of showing you why it might matter and what we can learn about the, uh, the Alabama football team from, uh, from taking a deeper look uh, at what happened the previous week. This week, though, we're, we're getting ready for the first game of the season. John Parker, I thought we'd go back and, and take a look at what it's like for a young, first-time starting quarterback uh, going into a difficult environment. And I thought we'd take a look at some of your film, actually, to see what it was like for you when you went into one of your, your toughest early games in your career in Gainesville playing against Florida. Yeah, definitely. We had to go down the swamp early uh, in my sophomore season. So not the same thing going into Atlanta neutral site, but definitely some emotions, a lot of emotions, a lot of thoughts going on through those guys. We don't know who the guy's going to be yet, but um, it'll be interesting to see how they go into a hostile environment and react. I think the biggest key for these guys is to use all the playmakers they have around them. Uh, there's so much firepower on offense and with a great defense. I think that they just trust their tools and go with the guys that can, that can help them make plays they will be successful. So the first thing we're going to look at is you know, the, the early plays in this game and, and some of the play calls that your coaches made for you knowing you're a young quarterback probably a little bit rattled nerves coming into this thing. What did they do to help make things a little bit simpler for you early in this game? Yeah, I think there's a lot of discussion throughout the week between the offensive coordinator and the quarterback. And I think early on in the game, the coordinator wants to get the quarterback going, get him in the rhythm. I think we can see this here by uh, hitting LaRon McClain, you know, a senior older guy that's been there for a while, get him in the ball, hit him in the flats, just first pass the game, throwing it out there, kind of getting your feet wet. Later on, we see Keith Brown catching a deep out route, or not a deep out route, a short five-yard out route, just to kind of once again throwing that long ball across the field, getting that trust in yourself, getting that rhythm, kind of getting it going for the rest of the game. All right, so a little bit later in the game, you're about halfway through the first quarter here. Uh, you're starting to get your confidence a little bit more, and, and finally we see a, a pretty big play happen at this point. Mm -hmm. So take us, take us through what happens here. Yeah, here we see uh, DJ Hall getting getting really good leverage around the corner. It's cover two, so the corner's playing low and the safety's playing over the top. So we're backed up, we're in our own red zone, and we need something to get us going to get out of our own territory. So DJ makes a good, good uh, move to get around the corner, and it was me just feeling that soft spot in the defense and delivering a good, strong ball uh, into, that, into that cloud coverage right there. All right, so the other thing that, that young quarterbacks have to deal with sometimes, obviously, is when it doesn't go so well, when they, when they face adversity for the first time. Uh, here we're, we're going to see you get into a situation where you, know, you, you, you hit the receiver in the hands, ball gets tipped, defense picks it off. So we're watching you kind of react to, to what's happening in that situation. Yeah, and I think the key word you said there was adversity. So going on the road, being in a new environment, there's going to be different, different changes going on. You know, roll out to the left in the pocket right here, probably put a little bit too much juice on the ball to Tim Castillo in the flat. Uh, you know, have the juices flowing and everything. But, but the key to the quarterback is going to sidelines, regrouping, you know, letting his teammates know that everything's going to be all right. And just because it's early and a young guy throws a pick, it doesn't mean the game's going to be over. you got to rebound and you got to respond and you go out there and lead the troops to, to keep fighting on. And, hey, you made, you made the tackle on the play, too, so they rebounded there. Exactly. You can't give up. You can't let them go pick six. That's even worse than the pick. So you got to keep stay with the play. That's all we've got for this episode. Join us later in the week where we're going to take a look at Alabama's upcoming opponent, the West Virginia Mountaineers.